والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, you revealed therein to guide us to the light. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu wa Nasta'inuhu wa Nasta'gfiruhu wa Na'udhu Billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina Man yahdihi Allahu falamudilla lah wa man yudlil falahadiya lah wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna sayyidana wa nabiyyana Muhammadan abdullahi wa rasuluh amma ba'd fa inna asdaq al hadith kitab Allah wa khayr al hadi hadi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam wa sharr al umur muhdathatuha wa kullu muhdathatin bid'ah wa kullu bid'atin dalalah wa kullu dalalatin fi an-nar allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidum majid allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidum majid brothers and sisters in islam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome back to ramadan your second chance. When the Prophet ﷺ was asked about the path that will be placed on the top of the hellfire, where the monotheists, the people who achieve Tawheed in this dunya, will have to cross over in order to make it to Jannah. Because by the, by the way, the disbelievers already are in the hellfire. But the monotheists will have to walk on a straight path that will be placed on the top of the hellfire. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, radiallahu anh, the narrator of this hadith, he said, Asirat or al-Jisr, the bridge, is thinner than a piece of hair, sharper than an edge of a sword. Again, he said that bridge that will be placed on the top of the hellfire is thinner than a piece of hair, sharper than the edge of a sword. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brothers and sisters, in the hadith in Sahih Imam Muslim, in hadith Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, once he was asked to describe the bridge, the sirat, the jisr, he said, دحض مذلة دحض مذلة or دحض مذلة This bridge is so slippery the feet will trip on it. Of course in Sunan al-Bayhaqi in Hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud رضي الله عنه the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said it will be so dark as people as monotheists are crossing over the sirat that bridge, and people will have light according to their deeds only. Brothers and sisters in Islam, in the bottom, underneath that bridge, there is the hellfire. Also around the bridge, the Prophet ﷺ said, there are kalalib, khatatif, hasak, hooks, iron hooks, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the greatness, the magnitude of its size. These hooks are commanded to grab and snatch people according to their deeds. What a scene, brothers and sisters in Islam. Look at this now. In spite of this, some people will pass safe. Fanajin musallam safely will be crossing. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
categorize those in certain categories, in levels. The first of them will pass like a blink of an eye, like you blink your eye. The second one, like the speed of the light of a thunder. The third, like the wind. The fourth, like the speed of a bird. The fifth, like the speed of good horses and camels. Those are the people who will be saved. Those are the people who will be passing without being snatched by these hooks into the hellfire. Najin Musallam. The second type, Makhdushun Mursal. Some people will be snatched, but will be released again. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brothers and sisters in Islam, and Hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, fi Sunan al-Bayhaqi, described the way that some of those people walk on that path. They fall down, and they grab that path, that bridge with their hand. And sometimes they fall down, and they grab it with their feet. They walk so slow, and the hellfire is beneath them, so scary. And also, the hooks are around them. Yes, they will be snatched by these hooks, but they will be released again. As for the third type, مَكْدُوسٌ بِهِ فِي نَارِ جَهَنَّمْ Some will be rounded into the hellfire by these hooks. We're talking about people who said, لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ مُحَمَّدُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ and this is the proper creed, brothers and sisters in Islam. Yes, people who fail to repent from their major sins, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed for them, not me, not you. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us this. The hadith, fi Sa'id Imam Muslim, min hadith Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, radiyallahu an. Allah wills for those people to be grabbed and fall down in the hellfire. But you know what? La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah will take them out of the hellfire one day through the intercession of the believers, through the intercession of the angels, through the intercession of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and through the intercession of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, those people will come out of the hellfire. There is a question that I want to ask. And Intentionally, I decided to bring this topic up today. Today is the 27th of Ramadan. Laylat al-Qadr, whether it was yesterday or it is today, based on your moon sighting, inshallah. But you know what? A lot of Muslims visit the masjids on this day. And after that, they disappear. I wish they can hear me now. I want to ask them this question. Why some people were so fast on the straight path, on the hill that is placed on the top of the hellfire, and some people were so slow, and some people had to fall down in the hellfire for a while until they come out? Why? You know what Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, said? The way that you walk in the straight path in this dunya, the way that you will walk in the straight path in the hereafter. If you pray for a week, or you pray every year in the last couple of nights of Ramadan, and then you disappear the rest of the year until the next Ramadan, this is how, you're, how slow you will be in the hellfire how slow you will be on the top of the bridge that is installed in the, in the top of the hellfire, on that path, brothers and sisters in Islam. But if you are steady, if you are steady with your deen in this dunya, you're keeping up with your worship and your obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya, you will be also steady in the straight path in the hereafter. Brothers and sisters in Islam, being steadfastness, or gaining or earning steadfastness in the religion of Islam is a very crucial topic. When the man asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about Qulli Qawlan, tell me something about Islam that I don't ask anybody else about it. 
الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم told him قل لا إله إلا الله say لا إله إلا الله then be steadfast ثم استقم it is very difficult very difficult right now brothers and sisters in Islam to be steadfast in the deen because of two reasons because steadfastness on the deen is the act of the heart as and the heart in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the quloob of Bani Adam بين أصبعين من أصابع الرحمن يقلبها كيف يشاء. The hearts of the children of Adam are two fingers of the fingers of the most merciful. He rotates them whatever way he wants. In the hadith of Sahih Imam Muslim, in hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As رضي الله عنهما. Now that is why the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم every single day he used to call upon Allah سبحانه وتعالى saying يَا مُقَلِّبَ الْقُلُوبِ ثَبِّتْ قَلْبِي عَلَى دِينِكِ Oh Allah, the one who rotates hearts, make my heart steady on your deen. يَا مُصَرِّفَ الْقُلُوبِ صَرِّفْ قَلْبِي إِلَى طَاعَتِكِ Oh Allah, the one who sort hearts, sort my heart, drive my heart to your obedience and your worship. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the believers in the Quran, those who understand the book, they say, ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب. Our Lord, do not deviate our hearts after you have guided us and bestow mercy upon us. Indeed, you are the most merciful. Brothers and sisters in Islam, that is why the matter of being steadfast, steadfast in the Deen is very difficult. The second reason, why? Because right now is a time of fitna. There is a lot of fitna everywhere. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described the time that we're living right now when he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, يَمُرُّ الرَّجُلُ بِقَبْرِ الرَّجُلِ فَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ مَكَانَكَ A believer will wish to die. He will pass by the graveyard of another Muslim. And he will say, I, am, I wish I am in your place. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, القابض على دينه كالقابض على الجم, كالقابض على الجم. The one who is holding his deen because of the fitna is like someone who is holding a piece of fire in his hand. A person will be in the evening a believer, in the morning a disbeliever, in the morning he's a disbeliever, and in the evening a believer. It's a difficult time, brothers and sisters, to be steadfast, steadfast on the deen. It is not easy. But for you to pass over that bridge on the top of the hellfire, quick, quickly, you must strive hard to be steadfast, steadfast on the deen in this dunya. Inshallah, tomorrow, in the next episode, we'll give you some hints of how to stay steady in the straight path in this dunya, insha'Allah. Ramadan is your second chance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the 